Okay, this uh, is an instructional video for CPE Triple E64 Introduction to Logic Design using the Xilinx ISE to download very simple code simulating SR flip flops onto the uh, Xilinx board. So the program has been downloaded, and what we designate is the uh, two red buttons on the right it's for the uh, Control S and R. So that's going to be the S, that's going to be R, and then two LEDs, the rightmost two, label one and label zero, is going to be Q and Q bar. So initially, the two red button should be at the one positions when the power of the SR flip flop is given on. And the Q and Q bar indicated here is true and false since the inverse logic. And we know that the initial state is unknown from when S and R are given one, that's the normal states not giving any operation. And let's try this again. If you push this button first and this button second, you can see the initial state of the flip flop is false and true. Q is false, and that is Q is zero, and Q bar is one. This depends on the initial pushes of the two buttons representing the beginning of the power on. If this one is first and the second, you get these sort of like the initial state. Q is one, Q bar is zero which is probably like it's being reset but that is not known though because unless you have the reset first initiated by acting low which is the release of this button giving the zero that is the true reset this is just the initial state okay let's prove this when you release this this is the reset button the R so the so you can see the uh, reset occurs then the flip flop threes zero and one the LED one is Q output which is on that means is zero and the LED zero is Q bar is off which means one. Now this goes back to one position, that's the normal position, S and R are both given one, and then you see that doesn't change the LED, LED still having the zero and one as Q and Q bar. Now if you push the reset R off and on, off and on, it doesn't change that until the S, the set button, is released, then the LED changes to true and false for Q and Q bar. And then subsequently the S button is pushed off and on, doesn't change the constant output of the Q and Q bar being true and false until the reset is at least released once and then it flips over the subsequent reset doesn't do the reset because it has been reset to false and true and uh, vice versa you have this the set flips it and doesn't flip anymore until reset flips it and then flips and then the reset back to the normal position which is one that doesn't do the reset until the other side gets to be zero again so this is the SR flip flop and we say the initial state when this board starts to run the two buttons S and R are both zeros that is the operation we don't use and then if you say okay these are on at the same time, or actually one is faster than the other, no matter how you push it, and you get this, right now it's 0 and 1, 
light is on is the cube that is equals logic light, so it's actually zero. And then if you say sometimes you have this guy pushed faster than that guy to be an initial state, then you have one and zero. Okay. But that initial state don't matter. Once you start to to set it or reset it, let this reset it. Okay, if you set it, okay, that remains because that's reset one and zero. That's a set one and zero. It resets this one, zero and one. And subsequent reset it and change that. And then the set changes that to one and zero. And subsequent set doesn't do anything. So that's the SR flip flop. Again, the program is very simple. So basically, just two lines of code assign the uh, Q is the inverted result of the S and, uh, and Q, and NQ, which is Q bar, is the inverse result of R and Q.